I'm Sky, Product Manager from Mua Brothers Vietnam. Since 2019, we have operated our products and services in Vietnam market under the name Bangmin Vietnam. So my squad campaign and engagement squad is responsible for the services, campaigns, events, features, increased user acquisitions and engagement with Bangmin. To deliver this mission, we work with all marketing elements and scheme related as such as landing page, homepage creations, policy program, referral programs. So one common element across all marketing campaign is generating different type of landing pages. Therefore, one of our top priority is to generate various landing pages efficiently and effortlessly. So Income Mandel, a tool that will help us to improve our productivity and efficiency when working with campaign elements. So as you would imagine, it would be very beneficial, especially with ad hoc campaigns. So in this presentation, I will briefly introduce Mandel from our perspective, then using our actual situation and as a case study, and I'll talk about why we need Mandel and how Mandel can help us to improve our current practices. Finally, I'll share about what we have for Mandel in the future. Let's start with the first impression. At a glance, what do you think Mandel will be able to do for us? Can you guess from this animation? If Mandel looks like an easy drag and drop tool to you, that's correct. So with the ready to use block of elements, Mandel can be used to generate a static web page quickly and granting both the design team and marketing team the freedom to design and create. The end users of Mandel are lovely non-programmer colleagues from marketing team who should not spend too much time trying to understand codes, especially when their efforts are better applied elsewhere, such as brainstorming for new campaigns or creating new designs. A tool like Mandel with a simple drag and drop mechanism is so much friendlier and accessible than the traditional programming and it would definitely reduce human errors and therefore save them from a lot of rework they need to do after. In addition, we plan to integrate Mandel with other components in our architecture such as gamification elements and coupon publishing feature. When the integration is fully completed, Mandel will be part of our main campaign page generator. So in the case of War Brothers Vietnam, the benefits of Mandel brings are anticipated due to the large number of promotions that we are running. Moreover, the campaigns have sophisticated mechanism that would be a burden if managed manually. But with Mandel, we are safe from this workload and the headache. To better illustrate this point, let me walk you through how we have been doing up until now and then compare with the new workflow enabled by Mandel. So this is our actual workflow between marketing team and the product team to create a landing page for any given campaigns. So let's look at how marketing team is doing. The product team has created an HTML template for a landing page. And then for each landing pages of this campaign, if the requirement and the layout are simple enough, marketing team can make it themselves uh, using the HTML templates without involving the product team. Of course, they need to insert image and URLs into the HTML file manually. And that would be the situation if we were living in the perfect world. But in reality, things are not that simple. The GIF here exactly captured their facial expression that I have seen many, many times before. From my description, you can totally imagine how troublesome it is for marketing team. It is not only terrible spending of their time, it is also implied a steep learning curve for non-programmers to manipulate the HTML file effectively. As I said, it doesn't make sense for marketing people to spend most of their time figuring and tinkering with codes. I believe they are happier creating uh, ideas for campaigns and doing uh, tasks in their professional domains. So even if marketing can manage to use the original templates, it's restricting them to a standardized layout. So more often than not, they will want to modify the layout. To change something as small as a line or to add an extra section, they will still need to ask for our product's help. And that invariably leads to tons of small requests. And don't even get me started on the human errors. Since marketing people usually don't have a programming background, there are many broken links and broken images in the landing page on production environment. I guess that's understandable, but nevertheless, frustrating for all involved parties. So ultimately, all these human errors, small requests to products team are unavoidable 
uh, rework will eventually cost a lot of resources for us to uh, achieve something quite trivial as a landing page and it's not an ideal situation which we have all experienced before. On the other side of the coin, what does the product team have to do in this situation? Especially when marketing sent in their last minute request and that happens very frequently. So whenever someone from marketing team start with uh, remember that HTML file you make for us, I died a bit inside. I know that they are about to ask for some small changes and it will take us a lot of time to support them. So starting from listening to requests, figuring out what will they actually needed and then planning for development and so on. Although that is no fault of all of marketing team themselves, such small requests like that happen more frequently than not and they are not sustainable as well. In time, they will accumulate and turn the original simple HTML file into a very terrible messy file, very difficult to maintain. Last but not least, an even bigger issue is that those landing pages requests significantly interfere with our product roadmap. For large and important campaigns, product team needs to reserve the time and effort to make a brand new HTML files and support marketing team to rescheme manually. So you see, something so trivial as a landing page does not only cause unnecessary frustration, but also, also leaves serious impact to both teams. In extreme situations, uh, which I will talk about shortly, I can even lead to business consequences. So to better grasp this situation, let's look at an actual campaign that we ran a few months ago. In the middle of 2021, Moore Brothers Vietnam conducted a campaign called Family Day. So it was the first time that we ran a campaign with such a complicated mechanism. So to start off, coupons from different merchants were available for claiming at a different time frames. For example, coupons sponsored by brand A were open at 11 a.m. or coupons by, by brand B were available only at 3 p.m. So in other words, the coupon were not visible outside of its designated time frame. So on top of the predefined schedule, the total number of the coupon was also limited. So first come, first serve. Basically, the user has to be very quick to grab the coupon they like because it would run out in just some minutes. Moreover, each user could claim only one coupon per brand per day. So you can imagine that this limitation nature of the campaign created a strong reaction and interaction with the user on our platform. So as you would expect it from a large campaign, we offer this uh, promotion nationwide. So users in different cities have a uh, coupon from different merchants to claim. A brand could be available in only in some cities. So we have to handle the geography factor as well. It was an understatement to say that this campaign was difficult to set up and manage. We have handled many variables such as geography, time frame, coupons, other constraints. So with this request, our team had to cook up a whole new website just to run this campaign. So even though it was difficult, I guess this situation is acceptable if it's happened once. The problem is, in October 2021, we started another campaign with a very similar mechanism. So history repeated itself. The context leading to this situation was that during the long lockdown in Vietnam, our services were limited for several months. So at the end of the September, we decided to run Bay Min Comeback campaign to signify our services are now fully back. I believe that the goal to attract users back to the platform after the lockdown was shared between different food tech com companies. So there was a pressure to rush the comeback campaigns to gain the early bird advantages. Therefore, the release time was hurried. After the sudden government announcement to permit uh, food tech away and food delivery services, our marketing team came up with the idea for the campaigns. Then products seem only have two days for development before the announcement went into effect. The mechanism is mostly similar to the family day campaign that I just discussed previously. There was one change. Before we offer coupon sponsored by one brand only during the time frame, however, now user can claim coupon from two different brands in the same time frame. So now even though this scheme is nearly identical to the previous campaign due to the super tight timeline, product team need to squeeze our resources and now spend extra effort to manually re the whole campaign and implement the requirement at the same time. 
So lastly, it's important to stress that in order to meet the two-day deadline, there was compromises that we have to take. For example, marketing could not change the layouts or anything at all. This constraint was regrettable, but we have to prioritize the deadline for business reason. Thankfully, we managed to pull it off with support and understanding between all members across the department. However, speaking straightforwardly, overall it was a big waste of resources. We spent precious time and effort to set up a campaign mechanism that had already been done before. All the while, there were the same old risk of human errors which easily happen due to the tight timeline. So that is our reflection on the recent practices and how can Mandap help us to avoid this painful situation in the future? When we complete the integration of Baby Coupon system and the Mandap system, marketing operators can use the Mandap to create a landing page on their own. They can totally add another block of coupon, modify the layout, and the design however they wishes. They do not need to follow the same layout from the previous campaign. All this thing can happen without the help from the products team. We'll be free to take care of other technical tasks, so more, no more tiny requests. We can navigate our product roadmap much better. If Manda had been available for our Baymin comeback, the campaign would have taken less than two days to set up. Marketing team would not have been restricted to the old layout. They could have gone with a different design. Ultimately, I think you will agree with me that it would be a better use of resources. Speaking about team spirit, it could have saved us a lot of pressure and stress as well. In summary, Mandao can help to significantly reduce development effort. There are no more HTML files that we needed to keep track or modify endlessly. Marketing people are granted the freedom to design and run the campaign by themselves, which it would absolute control to play with a new layout and new design to attract more users. More importantly, the ability to quickly churn out new landing page contributes to the increased productivity. This in turn has a business value, especially during the intense competition to have the upper hand in the market. So both marketers and developers don't need to squint their eyes to read the codes anymore. We can focus more on our product roadmap because we have a fewer ad hoc requests. So it's a win-win situation for all. This is all good already, but we already make plans for even better use of Mandel. In the future, we're going to connect Mandel to be part of our comprehensive tool, which we are calling campaign service tool. At the moment, this is where we centralize all the marketing tool set into one interface, completed with a calendar synchronization and a tracking system. So Mandel will be linked with our coupon system, gamification component, as well as other functions necessary for setting up and managing campaigns. So of course, until this comprehensive tool is in effect, marketing team has the option to use Mandel as an independent tool to assist with their campaigns. So I have shared about the current situation and about how it improved with Mandel, an inno innovative tool by Wahan. Manda has the potential not only as an accessible tool for all teams, but also to play a role in a comprehensive system, which we, which we are pursuing in the immediate future. So if you're interested in the technical aspect of Manda, please head over to the sections Making Web App with our Developers by Heming Jiang Ni. And of course, we love to hear from you. Please send us more questions if you want to apply Manda in business real cases. Thank you for listening and please enjoy work on.